As you know, The Witcher is based on Andrzej Sapkowski's novel. And um, uh, this is a great source of inspiration for us. This is the place where you're looking for any tips and guides just to create anything, starting with the environments and the characters. And of course, uh, this is the place where you're looking for this unique atmosphere that Andrzej Sapkowski has created. We used lots of uh, actual medieval plans of buildings, some, some paintings and things like that to, to create something that looks really beautiful but still has its own style. It's not like mixture of, uh, you know, random elements. It's not uh, something completely... Uh, it's, not, it's not something completely artificial. It's something that we believe could be a real fantasy setting. This is not the pink, purple kind of World of Warcraft thing. This is completely different, different style and we are trying to imitate that. We are trying to, uh, to move this idea into the 3D game. We use uh, a licensed engine from Bioware. It's called Aurora Neverwinter Night Engine. Uh, but we really heavily modified it. I, I believe it's like 80, maybe 90% of this engine was rewritten completely. First of all, we changed our rendering system. It's no longer OpenGL, now it's uh, completely DirectX 9 with all newest features like, like bump mapping, environmental mapping, uh, pixel shaders, everything you want in, in, in very modern rendering engine. As I told you before, we are trying to create this really um, dark kind of world and all environments created to look a bit dark, but in the same time, of course, we have this beautiful sunsets in our game and you can watch really great looking environments. But when you will move on into the city, you will see all the sewers and really dark places where you, where you wouldn't like to you know, live. From the very beginning, we wanted to create a real world that looks and feels like a real world. We spent like six months hiring a professional you know, drawer, painter, to create the look of the main hero. He did hundreds of, of sketches where, where the, the, the look of the hero was constantly changing and at the end we found out something that really looked like cool, not only taking all the, all the content from the book but also looking cool inside the game. We have over 50 monsters inside our game. We can divide our monsters into Generally, we can divide them into two groups because they are non-human kind of creatures and, and human kind of creatures. The characters are connected with the environment. If you walk at night somewhere, at the river or, or somewhere, I don't know, if you would like to visit swamps, uh, you, can, you can be sure that you will meet a lot of creatures then you will probably have to fight with them in order to survive. If time passes, you see, you know, sun going down, uh, you see the weather changing, things like that, you can believe it's a real world. So we have a very complex system of weather and uh, day and night cycle. Um, not only the environment changes, not only you can see that the light changes, shadows, uh, things like that, but also behavior of all uh, people, enemies, monsters, but also animals change during the day and night cycles. 